what learning technologies do you think are going to be disruptors in the way things are done in the industry today? Yeah, late 90s, mid 90s, uh, e-learning kind of evolved um, and came into the space. And back then, the kind of the model was, let's take this eight hour classroom program and let's make it into an e-learning course. And so you ended up with these eight hour e-learning courses uh, that lasted forever. So just as that evolution has occurred, and then they said, okay, you know, there's some logic in chunking this data into smaller manageable bytes. I think the same holds true and continues to kind of pull through in the learning models today. So I think what's changing is that learning is becoming shorter, uh, more concise, uh, more focused. So it may not necessarily be on the entire competency, it might be focused on a behavior within the competency. And that's all we're gonna measure. That's all we're gonna focus on. And until you kind of master that one or demonstrate proficiency in that one, and not because you passed the test or you took the course, but possibly maybe your peers say you're proficient in that manner, or your employees say you're proficient in, their, in that manner, or your boss says you're proficient uh, in that particular behavior. That's the pass that can go through. So I think some of the evolution and what's changing today is that ability to easily track it, not to make it so onerous and, and so heavy that it feels like there's, it's just clunky, but to just say, how, do you see this? So, you know, ask the question and just make it a yes, no answer or a scale type uh, answer, and then give that feedback live to the individual to say, here's where you are and here's some things to get better. One of the pieces I, you mentioned about innovation, so one of the things we're doing around these success profiles is we've crafted a uh, kind of a, a, a self-assessment based on the behaviors where the individual can come in and assess against the behaviors. So if they just are brand new to the job, they could come on and they can self-assess. The manager can also assess and you can identify a proficiency level, uh, either by competency or just overall job. And then it'll actually craft a dynamic development plan for you. Based on what you've answered here, here are some suggested programs. And again, not just programs, but on the job assignments, uh, classroom-based programs, shadow assignments, meetings that you could attend and so on. And it'll serve up a development plan. And then you can opt in as to what you want to include or what's reasonable to peel off and have a conversation with your manager, agree on what you think is best, and then move forward from there. So some of the, that to me, that's some of the newer stuff that's out there that really puts learning, you know, it's truly a learner centric model rather than kind of the learning department or the learning function being in charge. You kind of empower the learner to kind of own that going forward.